Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to a time lapse of me from my Planet Coaster live stream where I started on a Game of Thrones themed park. So in this park, I started off deciding I was going to have the entrance of the park as a sort of um, King's Landing location. And uh, this location will be where the park visitors enter the park and it will comprise a sort of open marketplace area um, some rides and then some narrow streets and alleyways and uh, yeah bits and bobs like that I, I thought that'd be kind of fun so I started of course with some kind of entrance uh, walls gateway to the castle and uh, that was quite tricky to do because there isn't much in the way of props that really suit a kind of uh, a big massive gateway I mean there are small arches but as it turns out three arches sort of back to back makes a sort of fairly open looking medieval town gateway which I thought was quite fitting. I'm using the TV show as my inspiration because um, that's where there is a lot of material to study for a visual look and feel. And I think that worked quite well in this build. I had these kind of circular columns coming in but I decided that wasn't really the best uh, approach so in the end these arches doubled up worked pretty well and I trimmed them so that they could uh, not look quite so plain. I'll have to do something about the top of that trim that I just stuck in there because it doesn't quite work for me. The other thing that I have done here is put in some little decorations just to add a little bit of uh, interesting flair to the edges and there is a door in there, kind of a notional door for guards and the wall itself doesn't go very far and it doesn't go very deep uh, or very, very wide because it's a theme park, it can't actually be a walled town the size of King's Landing. So for now it's a fairly small wall and if I do extend it a lot I'm going to have to think of some other interesting kind of features to add to it. Otherwise it's going to look very plain. So for now it's that wide. I might also incorporate a ride into it. Perhaps a roller coaster will go along the top. We'll see. Now we're onto the kind of market square and I wanted to develop a couple of shops and to have them with that very King's, Land, King's Landing kind of brown, red brick, and uh, also to throw on some uh, roofs that would be tile. Um, and I think that's because the series is filmed in Croatia, if I remember correctly. So that's what they have over on that part of the Mediterranean, at least for King's Landing. So there's quite a lot of parts that allow you to do that in game. And also there is uh, the great feature of recoloring castle wall tiles. So I can actually get this kind of reddish brownish looking walls and I think they look really good. And having looked at a few pictures of the TV series I think this hits really sort of spot on. So I was quite pleased with how this all came together. Now I think with these kind of shops when you're decorating them you have to kind of keep adding items of interest. Now this is a principle that um, Disney, Walt Disney himself came up with and, and decided to inflict upon all of his um, people when they were making their theme parks. And I'm trying to remember the exact name and I perhaps should have gone away and studied it, but I didn't because I'm an egg. So um, instead, it, it's like you have to add a little touch of magic to everything. So wherever you look in a theme park, especially a Disney one, there should be something interesting, to, something to catch your eye, something unusual and surprising. So for this fairly basic square shop, I wanted to add a lot of little details that would be evocative of a market square without it being a full, um, having to actually build like a full market square. So there's little awnings and I put some barrels in there later on and stuff like that. The other little cuts you saw me take was me fiddling with banners. Didn't really find any that I liked for the front of the castle walls, but I might have another look in slow time. When I'm streaming, I try and keep things interesting and moving. Don't want to sit there staring at the same banner or switching between two of them for five minutes. Um, the other thing I did was check out the castle drawbridge prop. It's kind of massive and it kind of doesn't really fit with the front of this castle or the front of this walled town. Might be able to use it somewhere else, but it's a bit of a fiddly prop by the looks of it. So I'm not sure. We'll see how that goes. So the next thing I wanted to build was another element, which would be a hat stand with a recessed toilet space. I don't I didn't want the toilets to be kind of sitting right out there on the market square reminding people that they weren't actually in a medieval town that they were in fact in a very efficient entertainment complex so I've recessed these toilets they're back kind of um, a block I suppose you could say and 
you get to them through these arch tunnels. And if you do like the look of these buildings, let me know. I can create them as props and put them on the workshop. That might be a good idea. So I, I changed out the archways for an actual curved tunnel piece, and that was quite nice. I'm quite pleased to see that I've got these double-sized ones as well. They're going to be very helpful for later on in the construction of this town, because a lot of King's Landing has kind of steps and overhangs. And I hope to be able to fit in some little smaller paths off to one side that capture those uh, those feel those look and feel or that look and feel now the thing i've done here is stick on a little side corner elements at the back just to make the building a little bit more interesting and to break it up um they don't really serve any function they're just there to break things up and then i chuck in a second story again to add some fresh uh, angles some interesting perspectives so when you look at the, the building from different angles you get quite a different um sort of perspective on it it's not a not a simple box it looks a little bit more organic like it's grown up over time perhaps been modified over time those little uh circular roofs are not entirely kind of perfect i think for the setting but they don't do too bad and then i was suggested by people on the stream to build a ride and it's just as well i did because i was running out of money and even then i kind of run out of money at the end of the stream and i'm gonna have to think carefully about how i get some i, I wish i could find a cheat for alpha 3 because i spent all my time building and making these props and not actually any time earning money, which is going to make life a little tricky. So lighting is very important in Planet Coaster. Doesn't seem to do anything for the people in the world, but it does certainly add a lot to it if you have some uh, lighting at night time to light things up. Otherwise it can look a bit dreary. Uh, the other thing I've done here is throw on these sort of Mediterranean style kind of balconies at the top. That, actually looking at it now, those doorways are a little chunky. I might go through and review and uh, I put a little scaffolding at the back just as something interesting. I should put some sort of stores or make a little storage area or marketplace area at the back there that, that looks nice. I thought it would be nice to light the interiors of the toilets and I put in a chandelier, but I found the roof very low, so people end up crashing into it. So I raised the roof, so there's kind of a discovered higher space in there, and then the chandelier goes up, and uh, I think that looks really great. I mean, it's a bathroom with a chandelier. Who wouldn't want that? So the video is about to come to a close with these two buildings complete. And I've started a hill. I sort of expanded the castle a bit. That's when I really ran out of money. And I've started a kind of hill for a miniature red keep. And that red keep is going to be a part of a roller coaster. And of course it is miniaturized for the theme park. And we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully in the next stream from Planet Coaster. Or you'll be able to watch it all be built in one of these time lapse videos. Anyway, until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, subscribe, like, comment, let me know. I do enjoy making these and I like making the streams too. Good times. Planet Coaster is pretty grand. Anyway, until next time, good night.